Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling this funky looking building by the famous architect Frank Gehry. This is a building that belongs to a complex in Dieseldorf. It's called Neuer Neuer Zollhof. Neuer Zollhof. And to model complex geometry like this, first we need to understand the method that the architect used to achieve this form. Well, that makes sense, I guess. Okay, so let's just start modeling this contemporary piece of... Before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot, and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe, because I make videos like these almost every day. Okay, so here I am in Revit, I'm going to be using the architectural template. And before I do anything, I just like to set the units, so I'm just going to type in UN and set this to meters. Okay, okay. Now this will be modeled as an in-place mass, but before we go to the massing environment, I'm just going to go to south elevation and set the height of our building. So let's set this to, I don't know, 15 meters, that's okay for this project. I'm going to go back to level 1 and actually I'll do most of the modeling inside plan, so I'm just going to go to that and I'm going to go to in-place mass. I'm just going to close this and hit OK, we can call it mass 1. And now we need to start modeling the basically level 1 and the level 2. And this will be modeled as a as two splines. So here I'm going to go to model and I'm going to be using spline troop points. And we need to set the work plane. I'll set it at level 1 for the bottom one. And here we you just need to set this to draw on work plane. Okay, now you can model your geometry or basically your spline. So I'm just going to be using a funky looking shape, something that Frank Gehry would use. Now you don't really need to complete this spline, you can't close it, because it w wouldn't work later, so you need to close it up with something like an arc. So I'm just going to create an arc over here, something like that, hit OK. So this is basically the bottom floor plan, now let's do the floor plan at the top. So I'm going to go again, model, make sure you're in site plan, model, again, spline troop points, set the work plane, and I'm going to set it at level 2, hit OK. And now you need to model something that looks similar, but it's a bit different, so we get that funky looking shape. And you need to start somewhere around where you started this one, and you need to end somewhere around where you ended this one. So I'm going to start from here, maybe do something like this. So I'm doing something similar, but again, it's a bit different. And I'm going to finish it over here, and then again I'm going to go to arc and finish it off with an arc. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay, now if I go into 3D, it looks like something like this. And yet now you need to select first these two splines, just hold the control to select both of them and go create form. And as you can see the form is kinda open over here so you need to select these two arcs and go create form and now everything is closed. Now you can open this up, go to realistic and here you have the shape of your building. It's quite funky. Okay, now we go finish mass. It's going to open up a warning but that doesn't matter. So now we need to add some material to this. Now you can do this two ways and I'm going to demonstrate both of them. So now I'm going to go here to Massing and Site. You have this wall by face. You can select the whole thing and also select this little part over here. And then you can select this, the actual wall. Yeah, go Edit Type and you can change the material to something chrome like the Frank Gehry's building. So let's try to find something like that. Yeah, this steel chrome plated, go OK, OK, apply, OK. There seems to be a problem. No, and now if we go back to level 1 and we create a camera over here, let's create a camera like that, and we can use this little scroll wheel over here to look up and we go into ray trace. Let's see what happens. 
there you go we have our chrome building we can just close the ray trace and now I can go back into 3D and you can basically place windows let's just go back to hidden line and you can place windows all over this facade so you can go to architecture window let's choose the biggest one and you can just go about placing windows on this complex shape now the problem with this as you can remember from the pictures you can see that this facade isn't really like this it's kinda divided into small sections or small panels now how do you do that in Revit so first I'm going to delete all of these windows and then I'm going to delete the wall so let's delete this wall and then I'm going to select this the whole mass go into massing and site and go here to curtain system and here for the curtain system I'm going to edit it it's way too big it's 3 meters by 1.5 meters for the panels I'm going to use something smaller like I don't know 0.6 by 0.8 go apply OK and then go select this and go create system and now it will create our curtain system that will kinda comply to the original Frank Gehry building now you get something that looks like this now you can select the whole system go here to edit and for the curtain panel don't go for none you can go for, for solid over here go apply OK now it will put a solid panel in this wall now once that's completed you need to select just one panel so hit the tab until you can select one panel then go into edit type and here for the material we can change it from default to chrome so let's find chrome yeah here it is steel chrome plated go apply OK and then if we go into the camera and go ray trace you can see it looks a bit more like the original Frank Gehry building yeah now it has all these panels and now if you have a facade like this you can add windows by selecting only certain panels so let's select I'm just going to select these two for example unpin them go here to properties and put in glazed and now this will be an actual window if we go into I don't know shaded yeah you can see here we have an actual window okay that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed it like and share this video if you have any comments questions or suggestions for future tutorials I suggest you leave it in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day